while it's all very well for a public representative to say that uh, she is responsible for the rights of people in her constituency and she should be saying whether they are being impinged upon and making sure that they feel empowered and are not scared of by anybody. I agree to all that. But I have had to make this video again because Hekani Jakalu and her behavior is creating outrage to the extent of anger. And uh, it's not just outrage, it's also enrage. Uh, but people are getting enraged here. What she says in this particular video is that she was very angry with people trying to uh, scare the minorities in the area and as their MLA it is her responsibility to ensure that they are able to pass their vote. Exactly, I agree with that completely. But according to the model code of conduct, if she is not allowed to enter uh, the area which is 100 meters from the polling booth, according to the rules of the MCC, she should be following that. And she says that she did not enter the polling booth. However, the pictures say something else. Only those people who have a pass issued by the election commission or who have an admit card can enter those are admit cards can enter that area where nobody but the voter can reach however what she said and what she did are two different things here's what she said so this is a whole hula gula about me entering the polling stations but i did not enter the polling station i did go inside the compound saying all this was fine but she did enter the polling booth she cannot deny it because in times of social media you have cameras working all the time and now i'm showing you this video where you can see clearly that she did enter the polling booth i did not enter the polling station 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 I did not enter the polling station. I did not enter the polling station. I did not enter the polling station. So why is she speaking lies? Why is she speaking through her hat? When everybody saw what she did, when there has been such outrage, why should be she be defending her action and saying that she never went there? So the fact is that when public representatives are chosen, you must make sure that you choose correctly. During the Lok Sabha elections, the people of Nagaland really came out and voted. And from the assembly elections of 2023 to uh, the Lok Sabha elections of 2024, there was a marked change. And really hats off to the people of Nagaland. And I don't say it because the Congress party candidate won. I say it because the Congress party candidate won despite and in spite the fact that the government in power is that of NDPP BJP. There is not a single MLA of the Congress party. And now we must prepare to make sure that there is balance so that your voice is heard. And your voice is being heard today because you have given some power to the Congress party as well. There should always be a balance of power. If you give root majority to any party, it goes to the head, then they don't work. And when it comes to the BJP and NDPP, which has proved that it is nothing but a mask of the BJP in um, Nagaland, you can't expect your work to be done. So. Today, it is important to reinforce belief in yourself, in your power, to change your government through the power of vote. If you like this video, do share it and do let me know what kind of videos you want me to make for you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.